so glad I bet as hell How the fuck she knows she only looking at herself So cold of a fear but in it I can never tell my name is Khadijah, aka Keisha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought we would just go over the 11 Dramini fanfics that I've read so far. Now, I started reading fanfics in October of 2023, and I really just fell in love. I did not know anything about fanfiction, anything about bookbinding, and it has just been a journey, and I love fanfics. Like, they are such a comfort for some reason and I've never even read the Harry Potter books. I've watched all the movies but I've never read the books and still I feel so deeply connected to Hermione and Draco whenever I read about them in these fanfics. So I just wanted to share the ones that I've read so far just in case you're thinking about getting into the world of fanfic you can give these a try. Um, all of them are available on AO3 for free to read or download, so you can find any of these stories there. First, I have probably the most famous, and I did find it, um, Manacled by Sin Lin Yu. This is my bound copy. I am going to make another one. I just haven't been bookbinding because it takes so much time, and with me starting booktube and keeping up my Instagram and then like regular everyday life and work, it just has been hard for me to get to, but I definitely want to do more. Um, so I will be binding some more, but this story is so dark, but also beautiful. Um, it does have an HEA. It's still a, kind of a sad HEA though. Um, and sorry for those of you who don't know, HEA is happily ever after. Um, basically, we get dropped into the story where Hermione has just been given to Draco it's very, very reminiscent of um, *Handmaid's Tale*. He's basically given her to um, given to her to breed and produce an heir. Um, now, this is alternate universe, so Voldemort actually wins the war, and this is kind of like what happens after the war. Um, and then the thickest part of this book is probably the flashbacks that show what happened to all the other side characters in the story um, and how Hermione ended up with Draco in, in this situation. Um, it is so long, <laughs> it's very, very long, but it was worth it, I will say. I didn't give it five stars just because that huge chunk in the middle of the flashbacks just wasn't really what I was looking for when I, or what I thought I was looking for when I went into this book. I did give it four stars, but again, after reading it, like, I could not stop thinking about it. I could not stop thinking about it. It was, lives rent-free in my head. So I definitely recommend, um, if you are thinking about getting into fanfic, this, you might not want to start with this book just because it is so long and it's so heavy and emotional, um, and kind of traumatic, but, <laughs> Um, I would recommend maybe trying something else and if you like those then doing this one but it is a really beautiful book um, and I do recommend it for sure. Next I have All You Want by Sen Lin Yu. This one I also bound. Um, I love, I love this story so much. This is probably still probably my favorite fanfic I've ever read. Um, this is an Omegaverse with Draco and Hermione. Hermione doesn't know anything about um, omegas, alphas, betas, she knows nothing because it's kind of kept like on the DL and um, one day she goes into heat and you know the other alphas in the school which Draco is an alpha they start smelling her and basically um, Professor I think it's McGonagall has to like set her down and tell her like explain the omega and the heats and everything else and it's the story about how her and Draco come together um, after the war but still in Hogwarts and it was just cute it was really cute it was really smutty um yeah the smut was great in this one and it was just fun it was a fun time it's not too long you know I really enjoyed it and I can't wait I do have plans to read more um Germany fanfic really soon oh my gosh look at my bookmark it's coming off I have to fix that you know these are handmade books so Nothing is perfect, but yeah, I definitely have to fix that. Um, but yeah, I have plans to read another Draco and Hermione Omegaverse soon, so I'm so excited. Um, and the next book I want to talk about is The Right Thing to Do by Love Bitka 8. 
Now, Love Fic at 8 is actually Julie Soto. She used to write fanfic before she got into the, uh, you know, publishing world. And this is book one in the series. And then this is book two. These are probably my favorite binds. This one is All the Wrong Things. Um, and I'll kind of get more into that one in a minute. But in this one, we follow Hermione. Oh, let me show the back to my Saturday girl. Like, oh, look at that. I love, I, I think these are like my best findings. I really love them. But basically, this is about um, Hermione and Draco after the war. Um, it's kind of a more contemporary feel. Like, they're still in the magic world, but they've gone back to work. Um, and it's like, I love this because it's pining on both ends. They have both been pining for each other for so long. And, um, you know, eventually she goes to work for him. Um, they're both pining for each other. And eventually she goes to work for him. And it's really, really cute. I really love it. Um, yeah, it's, it was amazing. Love this one. But the one I love even more is the second book. All the Wrong Things, Draco's Point of View. And then on the back there's this thing about her or there's something gold about her and I love it I just I love how these came out but this Draco's point of view this was so worth it like these two books are they come before the third book in the series which is the auction which I haven't read yet but I want to read and obviously I want to buy and to like match so I can have the whole series but that one is alternate universe and that's really dark it's the darkest one this one is the same story as this one but it's told from Draco's point of view and it was so good I don't know what it was about being in Draco's POV and I think this is first person as well and yeah it is first person so maybe that's why I liked it more um but it was just so good it was I like I completely recommend reading those two books these two books before the auction because I feel like if I just jumped into the auction without having any of this knowledge of what happened in the regular universe because this goes through Draco's feelings his family how people were reacting everything like if I didn't go through this I feel like and I just jumped into the auction I would not be getting the full experience of the auction so I completely recommend read the right thing to do and all the wrong things before going into the auction um and this story is beautiful this did not even feel like I was reading the same book again and that would that's what was really great because usually if you get the same book from a different POV sometimes it can feel like that like you're just reading the same thing over but you do kind of but she skips over those parts a lot and you really just get Draco's point of view and everything that was going on behind the scenes from his side and I just loved it I loved it. I love this series so much. I can't wait to finish it and read um, the auction and bind it and have them on my shelf as a complete set. I'm really excited for that. Okay, next I have Wait and Hope. Um, wait and Hope, this is by Might Be Writing. And this story, this is my copy, by the way. I thought it was cute, simple. And so this is about Hermione and Draco. So they, this is after the war and they've won the war and they're actually married. Something happens where Hermione loses her memory and she does not remember getting married to Draco at all. She just kind of remembers not liking him because he was on the wrong side of the war. So Draco is being patient and he's trying, but Hermione is, does not remember anything so basically he has to make her fall in love with him again um I thought this was cute it was not one of my favorites I found it I got a little bit bored but it was really cute and I know there is a second book that is beginning and it's called beginning and end and I believe it goes over like how they met um all the way up to when Hermione loses her memory so I might read that one too um and complete the set but I just wanted to bind this one because, like I said, I really liked it. I just don't think it was one of my favorites. Um, next, I have The Order of Serpents. Um, and I'm so sorry, I didn't write down who, I know their name, but I can't think of it right now. But I'll add it to the screen. Um, so this one was cute. This one was really cute. It was so fun and adventurous. So this is after the war. Um, Voldemort has won. And... Draco has a son, um, Scorpius, and he's so cute. Scorpius is so cute. So Draco's a single dad, 
and he goes to stay with Hermione um, in one of the safe houses because he kind of switches sides for Scorpius so that he can grow up in a better world. And it's about him and Hermione. They work together on cases. It's so much adventure because they're going to like get clues and they're traveling a lot in this one. And then Scorpius just falls in love with Hermione and like wants her to be his mom. And it's really, really cute. Like that was so cute. I love that one. Um, I did bind it, but I hated how it turned out. So I threw it out. Um, but I do have plans to bind it again. I've already done the typeset. Um, I've just got to put it together basically. But yeah, that one I really recommend. Oh, B.L. Cruz, I believe, is who wrote that one. Um, but yeah, super, super good. Recommend. Um, and the next one I have is 10 out of 10. <laughs> this is a short little quarto that I've made. Um, Jen from the Book Refuge totally introduced me to this one. And it is a cute one about um, where they're forced into marriage. I forgot what they call it, marriage law. It's a marriage law fic. And basically, Hermione has to marry Draco because I think this is again because of the lack of um, like magical children being born or magic, something like that. So they actually hate each other and they use a chalkboard every day to kind of put where they're at in their relationship. A 10 is like they really like them and they want to be with them. And then, you know, zero is like, I want nothing to do with you. So like every day they update the board of like where they're at. Um, and it was just really cute and fun. It's a bit spicy and I really enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, but yeah, this is the cordo bind I made of it. It's just a little book. I think it's so cute. Next, we have Until the Ink Runs Dry. Again, I've not bound this one yet, but I want to. Now, this is a epistolary romance. Um, Draco is sent to prison for being a Death Eater, and Hermione is working on his case. She is kind of a lawyer who helps, um, you know, some of these Death Eaters, they were kind of forced to be Death Eaters because of their parents. And so she's working on a case to try to get him out of prison and um at first he's like i don't want your help i don't need your help because they're just writing letters back and forth basically and um you know she's like i'm just trying to help you blah 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 well he kind of gets over it and then they just start talking like back and forth through these letters and they end up falling in love and the whole thing is just letters back and forth i loved it oh i loved it i love it i love those type of romances um it was really good. I recommend it's shorter, you know, it's pretty short. And there are a few like one shots that are after it um, that I also read as well, but I kind of just grouped those in. Um, but I've already done my typeset for this and I'm gonna bind it and I can't wait, but it was a really good one. So if you like those um, type of romances, you know, with like letters back and forth, definitely, definitely check it out. Next, I have Damaged Goods by Slytherin After Dark. I bound this one. This one is really good. So this is about Draco and Hermione um, after the war at Hogwarts. I found I really like that setting, so I kind of look for that when I'm um, looking for fanfics. But basically, they hook up right away in the beginning. It is spicy right away. Right away. Don't let that deter you. It is like very like not canon for either of them. But you kind of then go through and see what's going on and like Hermione is going through a lot. She is so traumatized from the war, like as she should be, you know, and Draco is the exact same way. But then um, they end up having to work together to kind of solve these cases um, for Professor Snape. And they, you know, obviously in the process, they start falling in love and it does have an HEA, but for a while there I was terrified like I was like crying reading this book I was like oh no like oh my god so it brought out those emotions in me I love it I think you should give it a try really really good one next I have three wizards and a baby I finished this one in December and I really loved it this one is after the war Hermione has a baby um and we don't really know we do find out who the father is later but we don't know for a long time within the book and she, he kind of bails and she just had this baby she's still you know dealing with trauma and everything from the war and theo is like you and my niece are coming home with me you have no one else i will help you i will take care of you i have more than enough room at the manor 
come to my manor and live with me. Well, because her and Theo are friends. She's friends with, like, all the Slytherin group. And so, eventually, Pansy, Blaze, and Draco, they all move in uh, because they're all, like, a great group of friends. So, this is more of a friends to lovers between Draco and Hermione. And she is a single mom. And it was really cute. It was so cute because all the guys are, like, saying, like, that's their niece. And she starts calling Draco dad and dada and, like... Oh, it was sweet. And then also Draco's parents were like very sweet in this one. I do like it when his parents like agree and want them to be together. That was really, really lovely. Love that. Um, and then the last one I have to talk about is In Silence and Submission by Jillian Eliza. Um, so this was really, really good. This one I just read this month. It is a BDSM romance. Um, again, Draco and Hermione are friends and they have a huge friend group. You know, everyone, Pansy and Harry are together. Um, Blaze and Ginny are together. Ron's out of the picture. He's a D-bag. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so basically Hermione again is dealing with trauma from the war. Um, but it sounds like she really does have like panic disorder as well. And she starts panicking panicking really bad when Ron comes and like kind of just shows up at their weekly get together because he's annoying and she is about to leave and Draco like you know puts his hand on her shoulder and he's like sit and he like uses his dom voice on her to kind of get her to calm down and it really just clears her mind and so after that she goes back to him you know asking if they can do that more not realizing that she's asking for it to for a BDSM relationship but eventually he does tell her and it was as somebody who doesn't read a lot of BDSM it was so good to read because it really went through kind of like the rules and like how those relationships really work and the different levels to the type of BDSM relationship there are um, and I thought it was really good of course it was super spicy it was so spicy it was you know tons of smut but I thought it was really cool and I liked I really liked reading it um, and it was the shorter one and it was really cute. I definitely gave it five stars and I do want to bind that one as well. So that is all I have for you today. All the fanfics I've read so far. Again, I do plan on reading one super soon. Maybe coming in a video. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, if you guys have any fanfic recommendations, please leave them down below. I am open to them. I'm also open, open to other pairings as well. Um, I do have some downloaded that are like House of Dragon that I really want to get to because I'm obsessed with that show and like Game of Thrones. So I kind of want to try those as well. But if you guys have any recommendations, Dramine, um, Hermione and Lucia, Snape and Hermione, and you know, House of the Dragon, Twilight, I don't know, I don't care. Any fanfics, let me know, leave them down below. P please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.